Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial, my name is Attempster. Today I'm going to be going over how to add skid marks to your games in the Blender Game Engine. So a while ago I made a game, sort of Mario Kart style, uh, and you sort of had little carts that went around a course. And this one here was the main player, and basically when you turn right and go fast enough, then you'll get skid marks uh, coming off the wheels. So lots of people requested how you do this, and basically what I just said is go look at the blend file. However, this time I wanted to go over it properly, how to set it up, uh, because this script is really useful and can also be used uh, for other things like as smoke trails or something like that. So before I start the tutorial, I'd just like to give credit to the script. Uh, it was originally written by Smoking Mirror over on Blender Artists. I'll leave a link down to his channel below if you want to go and check it out. But apart from that, we'll get straight on into this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is check File New, start up a new Blend file, Blender Game Engine, GeoSL, and an animation frame rate of 60. Now what we're going to do is move this up here. This is going to be our sort of car or whatever. And then I'm going to change it to dynamic. I'm going to add myself a floor and press S to scale, make it nice and big. And then what we're going to do, may as well select actor uh, and go over to textured and maybe change it to hemi. Okay, turn that down a bit. So now what I'm going to do is press shift A and add myself an empty. Then I'm going to press numpad 7. Uh, press 5 to go into orthographic view, or numpad 5, and then Z to go into wireframe. And what we're going to do is move one on this side, and then press Shift D to duplicate, and then G, Y, and move it over this side. So basically what you want to do is put these empties under your wheels, because uh, this is where the sort of skid mark will be spawning from. So let's move them up, uh, numpad 1, and we want them just underneath, so maybe something like that. Then hold down shift, select the cube, control P, and parent. Now what we want to do is name these different names. So this one here is going to be uh, left skin, and this one can be right skin. Then I'm going to go over to layer 2, press shift A, add myself a plane. Now this here, I'm going to add in a skid texture, so down in the description below will be a link to one if you want to go and get it. So I'm going to go ahead and call this skid, then I'm going to go over here, click new, and we will choose transparency, alpha to zero, and I guess shadeless. Then we'll go over here, new, and choose uh, alpha down here, and open. So once you've opened it up, uh, back in the 3D viewport, tab, U, and unwrap. Cool, so there we go, uh, that's that done, we'll call it a skid, uh, maybe we'll call it skid mark. Alright, and then maybe scale it in, like so, cool, and control A apply scale. Now what I'm going to do is go over here to game logic, and then we'll choose text it again, and go over here to layer 1, uh, select this right skid empty first, then I'm going to add a message on a true pulse of around 10 and it's going to be called uh, I guess just skid then we'll join it up to a python controller there we go and in here we'll paste our script so first of all we need one so new and in here skid script dot py so go ahead and get it and then you can either open it up or you can go ahead copy the script and then paste it in alright so I'm just going to copy and paste it like so. So now what we need to do is make sure all the names are correct. So message, that looks fine. Last position and uh, smoke name, well, I guess we can call it skid name. That will have to go in here as well, skid name. Now what we're going to do is change the name here. So this is just called skid mark, no number one. Uh, as you'll notice by the name here. So we want them to be the same. Duration for how long it lasts, that's really up to you. So now we'll go over here and join it in like so. And then on our sort of car here, let's go ahead and add a keyboard. When a player presses Z, actually let's make it W. And we want the car to move forward like so. And we also want the message to be sent. So message and we want to send skid 
to the right skid. Now also what we want to do is on our sort of car here, we want to constantly send the message through. So now if we press P and press W, and there we go. Cool, so I'm going to actually change the direction here to negative 0.1. It looks like it's overlapping quite a bit, so let's go ahead and go over here. Now I'm going to press tab and then SY and just scale it in. Uh, so something roughly like so. Then press P, try it again, and you'll notice it's been split up a bit more. So now what we want to do is just scale it up until it's the right size. So close, and then just one more, and that should be it. Oh, maybe one more. Okay, getting closer. S Y, and there we go. That's very close to what we want. So now we have them for this one. Uh, now let's go ahead and edit for the second one. So basically what we can do is delete that, select this one, shift D to duplicate, G, Y, and move it over here. Now let's just call this left skid. Add another command over here. Maybe let's make it S. And we want the same thing to happen. So same movement, but this time we want to send a message to the left skid. So left skid and skid. Now also one more thing we have to do is go over to layer 2, select this, and make it no collision. And also make sure that you have selected the true pulse here. So if I press play and sort of alternate between W and S, uh, you notice there's some sort of weird scaling on the first sort of skid mark. And the reason for that is that we haven't updated the world position. So what we need to do is on each of these, go ahead and add an always, and true pulse maybe around 4 or 5 and join that in as well. So if we do get the message then this here will evaluate and a skid mark will spawn but otherwise uh, only this will update. So do it for the second one as well over here true pulse and 5 and join it in. So now if we press P and alternate it should stay the same. So you notice on here that Basically, this isn't really going to work very well in a real game situation. So as you can see on the sort of speed script I have here, I'm sort of checking that speed is high enough and that the sort of turning amount is high enough as well. So a while ago, I did release a small video showing you how to do simple vehicle movement. So either way, I'll leave a link down to that below in the description. On top of that, I'll also leave a link down to this uh, sort of game down in the description below if you want to go ahead and sort of pull it apart and see how the skidding works. But apart from that, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.